Spring has sprung and a lot of folks are thinking about their lawns and gardens. Here to share some tips for us is Dr. Jim Wilkinson, owner of Seascape. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Great How are to, you this morning? Good, good, and great to have you here. I was just saying to you just a little while ago, I see your trucks up and down the street all the time, so you have been busy. A lot of people are really wanting to make sure that their yards are in tip-top shape. So what's the most important thing people can be thinking about or doing for their lawn right now? Well, as far as the lawn is concerned, probably a lot of people have seen that their lawns came out of the winter looking quite brown. Uh, that is mostly the result of a of a fungus that that uh, works under the snow, uh, called snow mold. Uh, doesn't cause any damage to your lawn. However, it will make your lawn look brown when the when the snow first melts first thing in the spring. Uh, basically, all that you can do for that is to give your lawn a light raking to try to get some air down and to fluff up the grass plants, if you will. Then, of course, the issue becomes it is time for your first fertilizer application of the year, as well as uh, it's that time of the year when we typically will be putting down crabgrass control. Crabgrass control needs to go down before crabgrass germinates in early May. So right now is the perfect time to put down both fertilizer and crabgrass control. Okay, so, so many people have been home and they've been looking at their lawns and they think, eh, this may be a lost cause, but you have some incredible video from a home this past fall that only had one season of treatment done to their property and the results, they are pretty amazing. Tell us about it. Well, it was a lawn that we discovered that um, uh, our fertilizer program all by itself wasn't gonna be able to fix. Uh, it was a lawn that required seeding uh, in the particular case of this lawn, it was a process where we aerated the lawn multiple times, seeded it, applied starter fertilizer, fertilizer specifically designed for when a lawn is newly seeded, and then just basically relied upon the homeowner to make sure that, that, that some water was applied to the lawn and the results uh, speak for themselves. Yeah, they, ab they, ab uh, they absolutely do. It was a do. pretty dramatic transition uh, but it is, it is it is not unusual, and um, that is the type of results we will typically have from a seeding that that uh, takes place in the fall. Um, so one of the other things too, I, obviously we want our lawns to look great, but also we want to look our plants and shrubs, and we want to get them in tip top shape as well for that. So so what do we need to do to take care of them? Well, two things. Number one, this would be a perfect time before your shrubs and small trees leaf out to do any pruning uh, that might be necessary. Uh, in many cases, before the, the plants have leaves on them, it's easier to see what needs to be done as far as pruning. The other aspect is that, that Seascape does have a plant health care program similar to our lawn care program for trees and shrubs. At this time of the year, we are applying applications of what's called dormant oil. Uh, it's, as, as the name implies, it's an oil-based product that we put on shrubs and small trees that are going to take care of a whole host or a whole variety of insect problems that are gonna be, that are gonna be occurring throughout the season. Uh, the best time to control them is right now with this product that actually smothers many of the overwintering insects, many of the overwintering eggs, and doesn't give them the ability to hatch and cause problems down the road. Okay, the other thing too is, what effect will this past winter, because while it was cold, we did have some snow, it wasn't a horrible, uh, horribly cold or snowy uh, winter. So what will that have an effect on, on our properties for this summer? Really not much. Uh, you know, other than the snow mold that I mentioned a moment ago, um, uh, we did have some snow cover this winter and we did get um, uh, a, a number of significant storms. As you probably remember, uh, we had quite a drought last summer into the early fall. Many lawns and many soils were quite dry going into the winter, and so some of that moisture over the winter helped to recharge the soil moisture to a degree. Uh, we have had some good rains here recently, and uh, most lawns should be recovering and coming out of the winter in good in good shape this spring. All right, one more question because I know I face it all the time and I'm not sure what the answer is. So the big question for all of those homeowners uh, that mow their own lawn is what is the best height to keep the lawn? And also, do you bag the clippings? Because I've read things of saying, leave the clippings there, you're kind of throwing away fertilizer. Others say, make sure you pick up the grass. 
Uh, as far as the height is concerned, the, the rule of thumb is the higher, the better. Uh, most homeowners should be mowing their lawn at the highest setting on their, on their mower. Uh, the reason that is recommended is the higher you mow, mow the lawn, the healthier it is going to be. Uh, simply because the root system has the ability to grow deeper. The higher you cut, the deeper the root system is going to go, which means your lawn's going to be healthier and require far less water. In terms of clippings, uh, in general, we recommend that clippings remain down. Uh, they do recycle a significant amount of fertilizer or nutrients. And actually, if the clippings are left down on a regular basis, the, the lawn is going to require less fertilizer and look better as a result. Huh? Uh, the only real exception to that is that the lawn gets, if the lawn gets very, very tall, and there are clumps of clippings left after you mow the lawn, you're gonna to wanna to rake those up or put a bag on the mower to pick those excessive clippings up. Well, doctor, all great information. Thanks for answering that question because I think about it all the time when I'm outside in my yard. So I appreciate that answer and great to talk to you as well. Now we'll be sure to share a link to Seascape on our website. That is roadshow.com. So folks can get in touch with Seascape and spruce up their lawns for the season.